Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility is an app that I never thought I would be recommending to anyone until I got into the laptop scene. And there's a, a ton of features in here that are pretty much dedicated to the desktop user and desktop people ought to be making these adjustments within their own BIOS. But since most laptops have a very crippled BIOS unless they have an unlocked CPU, in order to have better thermal control, you have three options. Uh, one is to take it apart and improve the cooling solution by changing out the paste. Maybe you have to add some shims, so you have to dismantle it. Uh, the second one is to just have a very loud fan profile. Maybe you have to set them at 100% speed, and that will obviously do the trick, although it's rather loud, and that annoys me. Um, and I would imagine it bothers a lot of other people as well. And then you have this app, the one that I never thought I'd be recommending today, and that's the Extreme Tuning Utility. And with the wide variety of things to do in here, I've messed with most of this stuff, and really the only thing you need to screw around with is the Core Voltage Offset. So if you're a Skylake i7 user, the HQ model, or maybe the KB Lake i7 user, again, the HQ model, you don't have a lot of tunability in your BIOS with that chip at all, actually. So if you don't feel like doing the repaste and you're, you're looking at your temperatures, you're hitting that 90 plus degree Celsius mark, you're getting very close to thermal throttling, nobody wants their hardware to run that hot. So what you can do is undervolt your CPU. And you can feel free, of course, to, to flip through all this stuff in here. It might make your head spin, but if you want to keep it simple, just click on Core. Go to where it says Core Voltage Offset. This should say zero. When I pull up Hardware Monitor, that will be tied to this right here. This is the vid. This is the stock voltage that my chip's running at at idle. And I haven't put it under load yet this morning, so this will actually go up to 1.143, I believe. I've done a lot of testing with this particular chip, but where you might want to start, if you have a KB Lake 7700HQ, is right there. Click Apply, and it will have already took. It'll stick just like that. It's already done. And then this was the max that it was set at. So here, if you clear the minimum and maximum, boom, there you go. Everything is set now. Now, I've actually tested this chip, and it's actually good to an undervolt of 0 0.150, which is a lot. And it made a pretty substantial difference. There isn't much I can do to the CPU now to get it to hit 80 degrees. I, I don't think it's done it. I played hours last night, and the warmest I saw this thing get was 76 degrees. In fact, I was very surprised it got that high. So this is uh, running with the automatic fan profile as well. Normally, if I'm playing Overwatch at 120 frames, my CPU is going to run in the mid to low 60s. Now that I've done this, this has been huge. So where to start? Start with 100 millivolts. Uh, if you're a KB Lake 7700HQ user, that might be your max. Skylake will have a little bit more wiggle room as their factory voltage is a little bit higher. Um, but it's just trial and error. You mess with this thing, slide it down, hit apply. If you go too far, the system locks up, you reboot, this app will automatically load back up and let you know that there was an error and that it just set everything to default. It'll do all this on its own. What I like about this app, and I never thought I'd be saying that I like anything about apps like this, but it does work very well, and that if I were to reboot the system right now and just use it normally, it, it works. It's out of the way. I can literally close it out, and everything in here 
it'll be at the negative 0.154 in this case voltage forever it just works I'll reboot the machine this extreme utility uh, tuning app here does not reboot it only comes to life if there's an error all right it just just keep it out of the way here it when you when you fire up your machine it doesn't reload itself it just it just works almost like it's a legit bio setting Intel did a pretty good job here um, so what I'm trying to say is you know every time you fire up your machine or every time you turn it on you don't have to go in here and then adjust your offset all right it's basically once you set it you can forget it okay now don't uninstall it but if you want to just throw it in the recycle bin here you can it's not going to uninstall the app so it's it's a nice quality of life feature it's not a pain in the butt to use if it was there's no way I would make a video about it it would be uh, a, a terrible solution and not a convenient one at all so I think that's pretty much going to cover it. If you are the uh, the skittish type, maybe not wanting to take apart your laptop to put new thermal paste on, I get it. I totally understand. Try this. Give this a shot. Now, you hit apply. Everything seems to work. Your mouse didn't lock up. Go play some games, all right? See if it works. Uncap your frame rate and then you'll be able to better test for stability. Uh, you could also stress test it. CPU stress test, and you could make this thing go for a long time, but you know you could do a five minute test if you want. So we start that here. You'll see CPU utilization will hang out between you know 97 and 100 percent. It even has a little indicator here if it's thermally throttling. And right now the fans are slowly ramping up. Max core frequency, 3.4 gigahertz. And there is the package temp, which should line up with this right here. 60, oh, sorry, this side, yeah. Yep, which it is, right on the money. So this works, you know, this utility is definitely something I would highly recommend. It's very easy to use. I'm going to stop this testing. And on this particular laptop, due to the fact that the factory fan curve that's built into the BIOS seems to just ramp up based on temperature, meaning once the CPU and GPU hit 80 degrees, the fan speed's at about 80%. So... It didn't seem to matter what kind of thermal paste I put on this laptop. All it did was delay that 80% fan curve speed by default. And it wasn't until I did a pretty hefty undervolt to where that was no longer an issue. The fans never hit that maximum speed and the CPU temperatures are now below 80 degrees. So give it a shot. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and more importantly, let me know what your results are. I'm very curious. Some of you guys are going to have laptop solutions that I may have not had my hands on, and I would like to know how you guys uh, how you guys fare with this particular utility. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. Best of luck to you, and I'll see you in the next video.